Well, welcome guys to my high boxing ratchet review. Four wheel drive, one day seed scale, 380 cell motor, and about a pound in weight, promising to be an absolute little firecracker. Is the uh, high boxing ratchet sand rail to give it its official name uh, 118 scale 380 size motor and as you will see in this video it cracks an awful lot of punch for the money when I see how we got it keep watching guys okay guys so what is there to like about the high boxing a ratchet sand rail buggy well it's completely ready to run 7.4 volt lithium-ion battery included it's got bearings all round which is always good and four-wheel drive and it promises to be a hobby grade, so we should see inside a list of spare parts. So without more ado, let's get it unboxed and see. Now it's available in two colours, red and orange. This is the orange model. One thing I should also point out is there's splash of waterproof on it. They actually give it a rating on it, which is IPX5. So rather than just saying that some manufacturers do waterproof or splash proof, you can actually look up what to what level the thing is waterproof. Anyway, let's get it out, see what we get for our money. And uh, Richie's actually got the taking the trouble to get this one the right way out this time, guys. It's quite small, say 118 scale. So, what have we got to start with? Oh, stickers. We always like stickers, there, guys. Okay, this is a little notification notice that comes with it. Please note this vehicle has a new and improved power switch. Instruction manual, as I said, this should be on hobby grade ones. Uh, it talks you through installing the decals to the car, get familiarized with the car chassis, all fairly straightforward stuff. Well, to the point a bit Richie wants to get to hobby grade full list of spare parts here guys that you can order online so that's definitely definitely good to see every single one of the high boxing cars that I've had into review has been better than the last one so fingers crossed this one will be when we get the battery in this video and get it charged up and running anyway guys let me get it out of the box take the uh, protective film off put it on the side and we'll have a quick spin around and see what we've got speaking of spin around guys I'm going to be doing a runtime video test of it in this video and shortly I'll be doing a GPS speed test the claim 36 kilometers an hour for the ratchet now that equates to just under 23 miles an hour so what Richie Traxxas do 30 a lot of the Traxxas cars guys only do 30 miles an hour plus when they've got the optional speed pinning on they do 22 to 23 miles an hour stop so they stock out the box should have a speed comparable to Traxxas but I'll put the GPS on later on in the week and we shall see anyway let me get this and the transmitter out the box and on the stand so guys we've got a whole host of goodies in the box there we've got the rear wing which looks like a little bit of self-assembly on there screwdriver included though so I'll uh, put that on we've got a USB charger this is becoming more and more common yeah I'm quite a fan of these because a lot of us these days have even got USB ports in our real autos meaning you can charge this from just about anywhere and when it comes to that transmitter two AA batteries in the bottom of it what have we got fairly simple on here off on so steering trim on there throttle brake our steering on there on the top we've got slow and normal speed on there so you can vary the speed if you want your kids to be playing with it steering reverse why would you want to reverse the steering Richie you ask well depends if you're left-handed or right-handed guys if anybody's ever wondered why you can reverse the steering on an RC car now you know left-handed or right-handed or oh, one of the two anyway you know what I mean anyway let me get the wing on and the film off and the stickers on we've got all of the stickers I don't know besides the uh, charger guys we've also got spare body clips which is always a good sign anyway guys about 30 seconds work to with the included screwdriver put the two screws attaching the wing on so let me get the camera now let's have a close that look around the ratchet now before we get the camera down guys something I saw Kevin Talbot do the other day which I thought was very useful uh, is put measuring tape against the car so at the front we've got six inches uh, for the width on there end to end lengthwise We've got about nine and a half inches on that, and height wise, about three and a half inches on that. Anyway, guys, saw so Kev do that, and I thought that could be a useful thing to do in future videos. So, thanks for that tip, Kev. Anyway, guys, this is, as I say, the orange spec car, the red one shown on the outside of the box there, complete with the stickers on. So, I'm going to let me see, put my stickers on first. So there we are without the stickers. So, there we are, guys, with my stickers on. I'm thinking that's got to be good for a good extra five miles an hour top end speed. What do we think? Anyway, on those stickers, it actually comes with the red color coded ones uh, for the red version of this car as well, which is quite a neat touch. Well, guys, I'm going to have a quick spin around the car before I take the lid off and show you the inside of the thing. As I say, four wheel drive, ready to run. Yours for uh, under 72 bucks on Amazon. Put a link to it below the video. 
This is the kind of car that would be ideal for taking on holiday with you as it's small enough just to chuck in your luggage and with that USB charger you can be able to charge it from just about anywhere you like on there. So what are we thinking guys? So it's got quite a nice little look to it for the uh, for the money I have to say. Anyway time to get that body on. And speaking of that body it has one very neat feature. Anybody guess what it is or already guessed? Similar to my big Lucy XLE which is sat down to the side there. The body simply lifts up and pivots up in the air. More and more people are doing this and I'm absolutely loving it on cars. On the inside there guys, you will see we've got a reasonably substantial roll cage on there. Bear in mind this is not got a lot of weight. It's not going to go super super fast. So it's probably more than enough to put up with a, a knock when it lands upside down. Anyway, with the camera down, let's see what's on the inside of the car. Okay guys, moving from front to back, we've got our front diff tucked away in here. Little impact bumper at the front here. I should imagine this car's going to put up with quite a, a reasonable knock. As I said, there's not a lot of weight in it. Uh, I would think that probably just weighs, ooh, probably a pound, pound and a half at the very most on there. And moving on back, we've got our shock absorbers. Now I'll need to check on the damping as to whether these, that's not bad damping on there. Do a suspension test in a minute, but it uh, doesn't feel like they've got no oil in it. So I think they may have some in there, but you can always increase the oil in there. Say so four wheel drive, we've got a front diff in there. Not adjustable suspension at this point, nor can it if you've got any preloaded spaces for the shocks. Not too big an issue on it. Our steering servo tucked away on the right there. Our combined ESC and receiver on the left here. Included 7.4 volt uh, lithium ion battery and our 380 brushed can motor on here. And you will note the addition of that uh, steel center drive shaft. Rear diff at the back and that all important on off switch which is the new revised one. I'm liking that because you can reach around from the back of the car Put your thumb up there and click it on and off. Very neat feature that guys. On there, damping wise. It's about the same front. It's not badly damped. Maybe a little thicker oil in there might help, but to bear in mind you're gonna be jumping this thing 20, 30 feet, guys. Anyway, let's have a quick look on the underside of the car. Okay, plastic chassis and arms as you expect at this price point, guys. Nice smooth flush bottom on there, and there's gonna be no surprises in this, I can tell you on there. Reasonable size arms at the back. And uh, that's the underside of that rear wing. But before I test that uh, suspension, guys, I'm going to take the battery out and uh, get that on charge. Taking the battery off, this lead is for the power, obviously, and you might think you charge the battery through that, but you actually charge it through what appears to be the balance lead on here. You see that connector married up with the ones in the USB supply charger. However, yours truly does have a fast charging option for this, so I'm going to put this on charge. Quick suspension test, and then you're going to see a runtime video of the high boxing ratchet running outside. Okay, guys, when it comes to testing that suspension, I'm going to lift this front wheel until the back one just comes off the ground. Probably going to come off immediately, about half an inch of travel on there. It's not badly sprung and damped, actually, and you can always play around with that shock hole in there, but it's uh, not bad. I'm giving it its light weight. I think that will achieve the required purpose on there. Again, lift the rear. Ooh, probably got coming up on about an inch on the rear before that moves. But uh, in reality, this thing will, uh, as you say, you've got about an inch in clearance on there. So you've got more clearance in the real world than, Rick than Richie's ubiquitous suspension test shows on there. Maybe a little bit thicker oil in there, but uh, that is certainly something you could do at home. Anyway, maybe a battery on charge. Let's take the high box and ratchet outside for a quick play. I know, you're wondering why you're looking at Richie's big box of battery charging adapters. That is because, whilst the USB charger connects up to and will charge the battery through this lead, I've actually got an adapter here, which I've previously used, which enables me to run it on my Venom fast charger because it's got a Dean's adapter on there. So I'm gonna plug my Dean's lead in there, balance lead in there on the next charger, and we're off and running. Okay guys, that's the battery with the adapter connected to my Venom Pro Quad Charger, uh, 650 milliamps, 2S pack on here. Now, is this charger intelligent or what? What are you talking about, Richie? It was beeping like crazy at me when I plugged everything in. That's because this lead with the Teams connector on there was touching the metal work surface. So it kind of intelligently selects, uh, tells you that there might be a problem before you actually have a problem turning that channel on by mistake. Anyway, put it on charge, see you Interesting to see just how much punch this little battery has in that lightweight car compared to these big bad boys. Well guys, first impressions are, is this is an actually very, very good. The steering on it is not bad at all. That steering servo is like lightning quick on it. In fact, I've got some much higher end radios that uh, this thing would have 
Oh, 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 oh. oh, we've got to take this down for some loose gravel for his main test. <laughs> that brakes well, brakes well. There's always a good sign, as you know. Yeah, not bad at all on the brakes. Enough power to flip the tail out there. I, I'll tell you, I've tested some small buggies that have caused double this. <laughs> that this thing has whipped hands down. <laughs> oh, oh, I think we've got to take this out somewhere better to test the steering. It's really, really, really good. It looks like a really cheap radio, and this thing is winning hands down. Now, it's not a normal speed setting on there. You can click it to slow for people learning out, and that's going flat out in slow mode so you can get used to the handling or try it on your kids there. Now, that is it in slow mode handling, and so I guess that's about 50% power on there. So, I don't know if your kids or if you want to learn to oh, see with this thing on there, flick it back up to normal though. And you're back on that. <laughs> just ridiculous. I can quite believe this thing is going to do that 36 kilometers an hour, which is about 23 miles an hour, because that feels that quick on the, on air easily. He's and <laughs> just he can drift the tail end of it round. <laughs> oh, it's just too much fun. Seriously, this is this has got some bigger money buggies whipped hands down. Always oh, definitely always look good on paper and then they, they've sort of fallen down on them on it but this thing not bad at all i'll wait to see what it's like on a looser surface but uh, initial thoughts are this ratchet from my boxing does exactly what it says on the tin uh, i think i'm actually going to take this out and see how well it is on something like sand it's got next to no weight in it i mean that i think that feels like about a pounding weight there at the most guys and not only that it actually looks pretty good as well sometimes these smaller cheaper buggies can let, let themselves down in the looks and things but that's got quite a big look you can imagine that uh, selling quite well if they made it in a larger sort of one tenth one twelfth scale size uh, with that uh, paint and body scheme on there anyway guys i am going to be sticking the gps on it later this week so we're going to see if it's that 36 kilometers an hour gut feel at the minute is it probably will that felt like about 22 23 miles an hour uh, on there i've driven a lot of cars and you get a rough feel uh, of what speed that they are doing not exact obviously the gps is for that so if you don't want to miss that test then don't forget to subscribe and i'm going to have a full outdoor test of this car coming up as well we're going to throw a few different bits of terrain at it and see how it gets on so hopefully you won't want to miss those anyway hope you liked this video if you did by all means share with friends thanks for watching well thumbs up if you like this video guys post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe and if you do hit the circle don't forget to hit the bell